You can do some ridiculous things that you could not do before are humanly impossible. This is amazing. Organize your last project plan by date rather than by task because it did that all by task, make it easier to understand and execute. So then it broke it down by task. Use AI to augment your weaknesses rather than augmenting your strengths because you already have good things happening. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's Ronsley. I have a great episode for you today. It's all around how Claude has changed the game with the new Sonnet 3.5. And this is not even their biggest model yet, but they've got Opus to release, which is 3.5 in nature, and it has blown performance out of the water. I'm gonna show you what it can do. I'm gonna show you some really cool things. And if you have a book, which I have a book coming out, I'll show you how to take something that's a book marketing strategy and make it useful for you. And that doesn't apply to book marketing strategy. It could apply to anything that you're trying to do how to take something that's a framework and then use it in a way that actually you can take and do something with and apply and execute. So let's get into the show. Hey, it's Ronsley. Welcome, you AI geek, to Amplify AI. Consider this podcast your digital compass for you, the business leader, wanting to use artificial intelligence ethically and in alignment with your brand's identity to achieve your business goals. Leading and running a business in the world of AI is like solving a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. But this podcast and I are here to make that easy. Every episode is a masterclass in unlocking techniques for using AI as a business leader, founder, owner. Thanks for being here. Let's learn. In today's show, we've got some cool stuff coming up. Like I mentioned, I'm going to show you how to do this marketing strategy. But before that, what I want to show you is how Claude Sonnet is just blowing things out of the water. I got an email today that I thought was really useful from Claude so that we can break this down. So have a look at this. This came today, but actually Claude has been out for a little while. So a little while is in, I used it yesterday and there has been a lot of stuff around the internet. It's really interesting that this sort of came out today. Today we're launching Claude 3.5 Sonnet, the first release of our 3.5 model Claude. It raises the bar for intelligence 100%. I've played with it. It's just absolutely insane. Outperforming competitor models 100%. Definitely outperforms GPT-4 for sure. It is so, so powerful. What's new? Frontier Intelligence. Claude 3.5 Sonnet sets new industry benchmarks for graduate level reasoning. GPQA. So if you hear the word GPQA, that's what it means, graduate level reasoning. Undergraduate level knowledge, MMLU, and coding proficiency, human eval. Now, these are all benchmarks that are used to determine how good an artificial intelligence it is. So it's shown intelligence way beyond what I've seen so far, at least out there. It's definitely faster, so 2x speed, it's op operating faster, and it has good vision, which is something I haven't tested yet, but let's play with it and see how we go. It also has this really cool new thing called artifacts, which is, you know, coding. Coders, like soft, I'm a software engineer, I can program in 21 language. That 21 languages, that does not even matter anymore because I'll show you what how insanely awesome it is and what artifacts are. I'm going to show you exactly how that works. It creates this crazy cool dynamic workspace like how I have here. And I've been using this dynamic workspace for a while, like, you know, having two windows open, having multiple screens. Everyone sort of comes into this office and they say, how many screens do you have? I've, I wouldn't know where to look. And now this is becoming more and more a thing because it improves productivity massively. Obviously, go check out the YouTube channel for cool things, but how do you use it? But let me show you <laughs> what I did yesterday. All right, so this is Claude. Uh, this is how it looks, right? This is something I did yesterday, which I thought would be really cool to share. So this is ethical AI adoption for business leaders. So what I did here was I want to create a weekly newsletter for business owners and leaders to ethically adopt AI to grow revenue operations, brand, and audience. In each issue, I'd like to have the following. Learn the meaning of an AI term, for example, machine learning, right, caught, uh, chain of thought. That's retrieval, augmented, generation, 
and that is the chain of thought. Tactic se section, learn how to ethically adopt AI to grow revenue operations, brand and audience, a new tactic, for example, how to repurpose to your podcasts, set goals, how to create your own AI bot, etc. A uh, chat GPT prompt, especially for a business owner or leader to ethically adopt AI to grow a mid journey prompt. And can you help me ideate these? So first, what I'm doing is I'm saying make a list of 26 for each category and then organize them in a logical manner for each category, then compile them into individual issues. Think this through step by step and give me a reasoning. So I want you to know that I've actually given it quite a lot to think about. Okay. And what it's done is here, step one. So step by step, first, it'll generate lists for each category. So this is what it did in real time the chat GPT prompts, and then it organized each category logically, which foundations come first, what comes next, what needs to be done in what order, and then it compiled them into this newsletter issues, which I can obviously open to check out, which is on here, like you can see what it's done, issue one, issue two, all the way to the end. It built the whole thing, it kept refining it. So I kept refining it. And towards the end, it created this great email newsletter for, for issue one. It's very, very powerful. Let's play with it and see how we can uh, maybe recreate something like that. So let's start a new chat here. I want to create a one page speaker kit. My name is Ronsley. This is my short bio. If you don't know, I mean, I've been doing a little bit of work with Vayner Media for the last few years, and uh, they've been very kind to help me with some of their Vayner talent, one speak, one, one the clients, their one cheaters. So using that as a guide and that will help me start this. So let's see how we go. Okay. Enter. Now, hopefully it starts to go. Oh yeah. That's what it does. So it creates this new workspace on the right hand side. So you see how it's done that. So it's kind of have this really cool on the left hand side, I am working and on the right hand side, I am creating what you want. So now if you see what it's done, it's kind of broken this down and, and made <laughs> the pager, one pager, which would have taken me ages to put together. It has broken this down so quickly. So what if I said, can you design this for me? Use our brand colors of black. Okay. Red. So it will kind of go, okay, that's really interesting. Let me see how I can work this and recreate it. And see how it's doing this, right? It's writing code. This is what I mean. I can code in 21 languages. It doesn't even mean anything because now I can get artificial intelligence to do that. This is ridiculous. This is a, <laughs> look at that. That is insane. The speed at which that did that is absolutely crazy. Wow. Would also like you to please. So I'm kind of giving it instructions on how to update this. Now you see how this is so valuable on what this does and how it does it and why iteration is so important. And if you haven't caught my previous video where I kind of break down what stupid super prompts are, and it's just not a good idea to even buy them as super prompts because they're not going to return in one go. It's always about iteration. And you can get a super prompt and if you get a super prompt, use it as a starting point, but it's not the be all and end all. So interesting, right? See how it has changed that my voice <laughs> and style, which might not be what people want to hear. Amazing. If Ted talks and tech conference had a love child, it'd be Ronsley. <laughs> I'm not that important person. <laughs> Now, here is why I feel this is a big step. Now you see how the logic and reasoning has gone up a notch. The intelligence is on a next level. And, you know, this is right up there with the context size. So it, it can remember so much when it executes a prompt. Now to give you an idea, Claude 3.5 can remember 200,000 tokens. Give you an idea on token size. So two tokens, six characters, roughly. So when I say 200 tokens, you're kind of looking at 200,000 tokens, you're kind of looking at roughly, I'd say 115, 220,000 words. That's just me doing some rough math. So Claude has 200,000 tokens while 
GPT-40 has maybe 32,000 at the most, or maybe, maybe now the new version has about 128, but even then, the results on Claude is absolutely breathtaking. I mean, absolutely amazing. I love artifacts. I love how this is done. And I, w I wish you go and try how cool 3.5 is. All right. Let me show you some really cool things. This happened a while ago. I have a really cool book publishing agency that has done my first book, which is Amplify, and is doing my new book, Amplify AI. And they're called Grammar Factory. You should look them up. They're amazing. This is my second time working with them. I'm a huge fan. So what they did was they gave me this awesome book marketing strategy. And in that strategy, there was these timelines, which I screenshotted. Well, then I said, these are screenshots and the full PDF of the 16 week book marketing strategy. Can you read everything I've given you and understand it before I ask you my next question? So I'm kind of prepping it in a way that a, you know, a, a custom GPT would be already prepped before you give it something. So you see how input is so important in the data. All right, so it's kind of done that and it's broken it down. It's gone, okay, do you know what lead measures are and how they differ from lag measures? If you do, can you create uh, lead measures from, to market my book based on the document I shared. I have a launch date of September 13, 2024. My goal is that I, I want to sell 20,000 books in the first year. Can you incorporate what my regular tasks are, what I have to do daily, weekly, monthly to achieve my goal? Yep, I'm aware. And the lead measures are predictive and influenceable activities that drive uh, or lead the achievement of a goal, while lag measures are the actual results you aim to achieve like revenue or sales numbers. So based on that, here's how I break it down. Lead measures, number of promotional partners, size of email list, pre-order sales, velocity during the soft launch period, number of books reviews secured in the first two weeks, social media engagements and reach metrics during launch period, number of podcast interviews and guest blog posts aim for 20 to 30. So in the first three months, so see how it's done that. And now it's kind of broken it down to daily task, weekly task, monthly task, and uh, key milestones. And then one of the things I said, one of the things that I noticed, because it says based on your marketing and so I shared your goal, it said something about ambitious. Right? What did it say? Ah, track your, to track to hit your ambitious goal of 20,000. I said, you say ambitious. Should I reconsider my goal? Well, reconsidering your goal depends on several factors and it broke it down. So what I did was I was like, well, this is really interesting. You think that what I have just done said is ambitious. Why? And how do I de-risk that? That's the way I was starting to think. So then it kind of gave me why. So it determines the realistic, it's depending on audience, it depends on market size, it depends on the marketing budget, the time and energy you commit to the book, the strength of the book and concept. So it's kind of saying, hey, you know, if you want that kind of results, these are the main things that you should care about. The name of the book is this, and I kind of give it some context. I give it, you know, I copied and pasted my bio. I kind of give it more context because see how context is so important because then it understands what it's trying to do with you. So thank you for pro providing me more context about your background. I believe the goal is a challenging but achievable one, which now it's gone from ambitious to achievable, but a challenging one, which is, it, it is. And here's a few reasons why, and it broke it down. Then to maximize your chances of hitting your goal, I recommend you doing this into it in this order. Now, at the time it was version 6.0, we are right now at version 12. And I can't wait for you to read it. It is an absolutely, oh, I am so proud of the book. And it'll show you exactly how to grow audience, revenue, brand, and operations using artificial intelligence. So what I'm doing as well is I'm having a whole bunch of really cool business owners and leaders learn from me in six week increments. And in each week, I am promising that I will show them using AI, how to get a paid work day back in their week you can do some ridiculous things that you could not do before are humanly impossible. And you get access to all these prompts and how to do it yourself in, in there. If you notice what I've done is I've kind of kept talking to this. I've kept reasoning with it. It I've kept asking it questions to break down what I should be doing and in what order. And 
it's been an absolutely amazing thing because see how it's gotten here at this point. So today, this was March 21st, by the way, today is June 25th when I'm recording this and it's kind of broken everything down for me. Content ideas. Yeah, I'm there. I'm there. That's interesting because I haven't actually, I've done some of this stuff unconsciously because I've read all through this. But it would be phenomenal if I actually copied and pasted this and given this to my assistant to organize. And now I was like, okay, this is amazing. Organize your last project plan by date rather than by task because it did that all by task, make it easier to understand and execute. So then it broke it down by task, which is now it's easier for me to go, okay, now on week 13, this is what I'm supposed to do. Right now I'm supposed to do this which is mentions, which is already happening right now, which is kind of crazy because I drop all sales pitch templates. Wow. So it's taken, this is how I want you to use artificial intelligence. It's an augmentation of you. How can you use your intelligence in a way that you can help someone understand and learn and you can do something else rather than waste your time. There are machines for all different things today. So, I would encourage you to use them. Today is all about Claude because it's such a huge change today. It's a big, big shift, especially looking at how quickly it designed this kit. Like, just think about that. It's absolutely insane. And I actually got some, some feedback from my editors for the last bit, and they suggested some ideas on how to improve certain graphics. And I wonder if I can just ask AI to do it. It'd be super interesting to see how that works. So using artificial intelligence is all around you taking something that you already do really well and putting that to the side and looking at all the things that you don't do really well and putting on the back burner and use artificial intelligence for that. What are the things that you're not getting done? If you're a really good copywriter, don't use AI for copywriting. It, you might be a very bad project planner. If you're a good project planner, don't use AI for project planning, use it for copywriting. Use AI to augment your weaknesses rather than augmenting your strengths because you already have good things happening. Today's session was all about Claude AI. If you want more, go check out our website, Amplify AIs with an S.com. You'll get a whole bunch of tactics and case studies and ideas and lessons that you can learn if you're a business owner or leader, how you can get AI to work in your business ethically to grow revenue operations, brand and audience. We're all about that. Check out my new book. It's coming out soon, Amplify AI. I'm so, so happy to release it. It's taken me 19 months of work and effort to put this together and I can't wait to release it. If you want a pre-copy, let me know. Send me an email, ronsley at gmail.com. In the meantime, love what you do, do what you love. Talk soon. Hey, AI geek. Thanks for listening. Your job doesn't stop here. I want you to lend your voice to the conversation. So you can join those conversations, discussions, new trainings, new recordings, and the rest of the AI geeks by going to aigeeks.co. Also, share this podcast with a friend, another potential AI geek. Until then, much love.